your daily tarot and guidance reading. My name is TJ and today is March 19th, 2022. This is a pick a card style reading and we have two different decks that we're using. We're using an Angel Oracle deck and a Smith White Tarot in the Game of Thrones theme. There are three different groups you can choose from and each group is represented by a different type of green tea. So the first group is represented by pure green tea. The second group is represented by lemon green tea. And the third grouping is represented by mint green tea. If you would like, you can certainly go into the description box below and uh, click on the timestamp to go to your reading, or you can pause the video and feel and see which grouping resonates with you, or you can listen to the entire reading as many times I find that they all feel kind of related. All right, let's get started with the first reading, and that's represented by the pure green tea. Here you have the uh, family angel oracle card, and it's an illustration of family in um, family members in different uh, stages of the life cycle, and also representing different corners of the earth. This card reads: This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart. Surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to be free to feel peace. So who do you need to do some healing with in your family? And remember, family isn't only blood. Family is the uh, people we choose to be connected with um, in a personal kind of way. So let's see what your Smith White Tarot cards are. You have the uh, Ten of Swords in Reverse. And um, this card uh, is one of, you know, regret and guilt. and But when this card is in reverse, it can show it taking a long time to um, uh, uh, get over these feelings. It can also represent some sort of truth coming out. Um, you also have the page of coins in reverse. And this card indicates somebody being selfish. Um, somebody a bit self-centered and, uh, you know, pure green tea group. I'm getting the indication today that perhaps you and a family member had, um, some sort of dynamic where, um, there was there either you're going to see today or there was, um, a misuse of funds and that truth has come out. Perhaps somebody was spending more than their fair share and they were spending it on themselves, not even for the sake of the unit itself or whatever it is that binds you guys, but it was really going towards them. And you're being encouraged to, if it was you, if perhaps you were spending, um, you know, resources, time, even money in a way that wasn't helpful to the group dynamic um, and if you're making up for it and if you made up for those resources, you're being encouraged to let that go or either you're being encouraged to stop that behavior and move forward. So, you know, the decisions that we make don't only affect ourselves, but they affect, you know, our whole, they can affect our entire families, especially when it comes to money. So just be mindful in how you're um, approaching this because you don't want to, you don't want to be selfish, right? Um, you And um, if there's somebody in your family or in, you know, in this interaction, this grouping that is doing that, you know, then if you need to confront them, confront them and then move on from it, especially if the damage has already been done. And if it was like a one-time thing, um, you know, you need to bring, you don't want, you don't want money to be the cause of rifts in your family. And you can avoid these scenarios sometimes. Like if someone, let's say you let somebody money, and um, because they said that they needed it, like it was a need, but then you later on find out that um, they use that money frivolously on something that you feel was deemed unworthy. Number one, remember, if you lend money to somebody, they're able to do whatever they want with it. Even if someone says that, you know, I, my plan is to do X, Y, Z with it and you would have only, you're only giving it to them because of X, Y, Z. Ultimately, when you give somebody something, they're in a position to do whatever they want with whatever it is that you gave them. So that could also play out in that way. Um, whatever it is, you know, I, you're being encouraged to, to um, heal from this, from this because you don't want to have negativity or negative discord within your family. So pure green tea group, I hope that, um, you know, you are able to come to some sort of a good place where you're able to move on 
and that there isn't too much damage done and that there can be forgiveness and um, a new, better relationship going forward with this person. If you feel like this reading resonated with you, please let me know in the comments below. Um, give me a like, subscribe, come back for more. I do this on a daily basis. And, you know, I try to tell it straight, um, but always find the positive in these scenarios because each each challenge that we have is a learning experience. Even positive experiences, we can learn from them too. But, you know, definitely the challenging ones we can, especially so that way we don't repeat them again. And if you know that this person isn't going to necessarily use a resource in a way that you deem fit, then don't even go down that road with them, right? I hope you have a wonderful day, Pure Green Tea Group. And again, I hope to see you tomorrow. Let's move on to the second reading, and that's represented by the Lemon Green Tea Group. Now, your angel oracle card is Cupid, and here you have an angel blowing bubbles in the shape of hearts. And this card says, We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this re reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all its glorious forms, aspects. Are you opening up your heart? How is this playing out? What's going on here? Okay, so you have the Nine of Coins in reverse and you also have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So the Nine of Coins in reverse can indicate uh, property disputes, um, loss of money involving family, and the Ace of Cups can represent, uh, uh, in reverse, sorry, can represent, again, kind of false starts, losing of resources. Now, the cool thing about both of these cards is that they're the cups, so we're dealing with the emotional realm, you know, Cupid. This is probably a romantic reading. Um, and the cool thing is that they both can indicate that these things can change. So Lemon Green Tea Group, today I'm getting the sense that perhaps with a romantic partner, um, maybe this is a newer romantic partner, you're feeling that they're stepping on your toes. <laughs> um, uh, and that can happen as you get to know somebody. Now, the cool thing is, is that if you let them know what your boundaries are or, you know, your likes, dislikes, how you like to be treated, how you like to be spoken to, how you like to be interacted with when certain types of scenarios come up, then they're going to be able to approach you in the appropriate manner. And then this reverse, um, this um, reverse uh, position can be changed, you know. So lemon, again, lemon green tea group, I'm getting the sense today that in a romantic dynamic, most likely, um, you're... Um, You've been interacting with this person in a way, or sorry, they've been interacting with you in a way that is maybe, maybe perhaps irksome, perhaps they're stepping over boundaries. If you um, let them know what it is that they're doing that is bothering you, they can approach you in an appropriate way that makes sense to you. And you guys will have, you know, lovely interactions going forward. Sometimes people just need to know, right? And you can tell them that in a loving way because there's love here, right? There's love here. So, you know, you're being encouraged to indicate to the people in your life, this person in your life, if it's one person, um, you know, what your boundaries are, what your limitations are, if they're cross, you know, if they're being irksome in some particular way. And once you communicate this, things can be flowing beautifully between the two of you. If you feel like this reading resonates with you, please let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, come back for more. I do this on a daily basis. And, um, you know, listen to the other reading if you'd like as well. Let's move on to the third reading, and that's represented by the Mint Green Tea. Your angel oracle card is known as the signs, and here you have an angel, and they are flying. Their feet are not touching the ground, and they are dropping a feather in your path. Now, this card says, notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're not loved, that you are loved and never alone. So you are receiving signs, but why and what about? What's going on here? You have, oh, my apologies. You have the Empress in reverse, which can indicate <laughs> imbalance. Imbalance. And you have the Ten of Spears, which indicates imagine burdens a lot of the time. Um, mint green tea group, I'm getting the sense that, uh, perhaps you are feeling an imbalance in a relationship in a, some sort of dynamic. It could be work. It could be romantic. It could be within your family. And because, um, you are experiencing these imbalances, you're starting to 
have any it's starting to have any, an emotional toll on you and you see um and perhaps you're being you notice that your body is responding in different ways perhaps you notice that you are um, tired at different points of the day perhaps you notice that um your mind is very occupied by um, whatever is happening in this imbalance and you're not able to focus. Or perhaps you feel an imbalance because um, you don't trust that things are going to work out well. And perhaps this imbalance is within yourself. Um, you're being told, you're being encouraged to see things for how they really are because I think things are a bit more positive than what they might than what you might have um, accepted to see. And once you look objectively at your situation, you'll see that it's a lot better than what it is. And that will help to eliminate that emotional or that mental burden that you have going on right now. It's so funny how, um, you know, deep breathing and critical thinking and even journaling can really help you put things into perspective. And you are able to see your blessings um, you're able to see the positive um, things that are happening in your life or around you. And then um, that can quell the fears that we have in our hearts and in our minds. So, you know, Minty Group, again, you're being encouraged to, if you're sensing an imbalance, if you're sensing things are not going right, like your creativity is being blocked for some reason, you're being encouraged to take an objective look at things around you and to also count your count your blessings, notice the positivity around you, and you'll be, notice that once you do that, that mental or emotional burden that you had created starts to dissipate. If you felt like that reading resonated with you or um, that you enjoyed it, please give me a like, comment, subscribe, come back for more. I do this on a daily basis. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, I hope you have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Take care.